What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that allows you to quickly create panels inside of your SketchUp models. Before we get started, I wanna thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Clark Mills and Saleh Ibrahim. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my patrons voted, and uh, they selected an extension that allows you to quickly create panels in your models. S for you, panel. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, S for you, panel. Plugin developer, SU for you. Plugin cost, nine dollars where can you get it you can download it from the sketchup extension warehouse or by following the link in the notes down below tool functions this is a fairly simple extension it basically gives you several different ways to create different kinds of panels inside of sketchup so when you first install it there's four different options in here including panels by different kinds of points and panels by face and so at its simplest if you pick one of the points options, you can come in here and you can create a panel using these options really quickly. So for example, let's say that you wanted to create like a bookshelf or something like that and you wanted to make it out of three quarter inch panels. You could do that really easily by using this extension. So to start off, you can adjust the different parameters by selecting a tool and then right clicking and going to set parameter. What that does is that gives you options for the different materials that you can use as well as if this is going to be a group or a component, what layer it's placed on, the thickness, and more. So in this case, let's say for example that I wanted to create a bookshelf that was, we'll call it four feet wide and two foot six inches deep. So you can see how creating a panel like this is really easy. Then you could come in here and just use the various tools in order to create this however you wanted to create it. Um, one thing to notice if you look at this when this is dropping this in here is you can tap the tab key to set the insertion point or the insertion offset of anything that you create. So you can see how I can use this to make sure that this offsets us inward instead of outward. And let's say I wanted this to be something like, we'll call it five feet tall. You can see how you could use this to create these panels really easily. And then I could use the move tool in copy mode to copy this across. I could create the top panel here, and then I could come in and I could create these panels really quickly as well. So once I know what point I want those to be at, I could really place these shelves wherever I want without having to worry about offsetting or anything like that. And then I could add something like a back panel. Really easily as well. And so one thing you do have to be a little bit careful of in this extension is making sure that you have your insertion points right, just so these panels get placed in the right location. But the nice thing about these is you can really use this to do this really quickly. Um, another great example would be if I wanted to make a shelf like this, where I had some kind of a, like a pipe tube. You can see how I could easily come in here and then along the red axis just create this object tap the tab key in order to place this where I want it to go. So you can see how creating these panels is really easy and then you can take them and you can place them however you want to. So you can see how I can use the move tool in copy mode to create multiple different copies in here to create something like this shelf really easily. And so um, these options are all really nice. Um, I like especially the one where you make these with corners. The others kind of get based on a center point um, of one way or the other. So you can see how this would be based on a center point. So if you wanted to come in here and create this, this way you could do that. But the last function is the one that I'm really interested in. That one is called panel by face. And so what that one does is that allows you to select faces and quickly create panels based on those faces. So you can see how I could come in here and I could create this panel really easily. And uh, if I wanted to, I could set my parameters so that the color is something else. So, and you'll notice you're kind of limited by the colors that are in your model, and that's kind of normal for SketchUp extensions. So if you wanted to use something like a wood panel or something like that, you'd probably want to make sure that you've applied it to at least one face before you try to do this. But um, I could activate this tool 
right click and go to set parameters and then I could set the material to something like a wood veneer and I could set the thickness to three quarters of an inch and I want to note that you can set an offset to all of these different objects if you want it um, so if you want all of these to be offset a little bit or something like that you can use these different settings in order to make the pieces fit properly um, but for this I'm just gonna select this whole thing and just use make panel and and for whatever reason it doesn't seem to want to apply that wood veneer panel but that's okay because we can just take the whole thing and select it and then you can see how this just applies the material to the outside of the group so you could just apply it this way as well so you can see how this gives you a lot of interesting options for different things that you could create the other thing that I think is interesting and I would like to play around with a little bit more is the possibility of creating something like wall panels so like for example you can see how with this curved face this will come in and this will create panels but it does it based based on the hidden geometry in here. So if I do a view hidden geometry, you can see how I can come in here and I can add panels based on each one of these faces that makes up this curve. So I think there's interesting options for doing things like, let's say I wanted to create like a four foot high wainscot or something like that on this wall. Um, I could just move this face up four feet and then use make panel in order to place that in here really quickly. So I think there's a lot of different options and ideas in here for different things you could do um, using that as well. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension that you're interested in? Can you think of some cool uses for it? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.